Today is a celebration day in Karnataka. Uh, it's a festival of democracy. Millions of people will go out and vote today. My request to people is to come out and vote in big numbers. This is a privilege that we have. This is not just a right, but it's also a duty. Because if we don't vote, we are not registering our voice. If we don't vote, we are not contributing meaningfully in a democracy. The last 10 years has witnessed tremendous growth in the nation. It has transformed the way the country is governed. It's very important for people to go out and vote in big numbers. We have been receiving very positive response everywhere. Uh, just like every year, more senior citizens are seen at the booths. Uh, more aged people are seen at the booths. They are coming out in big numbers with great enthusiasm to elect the Prime Minister again. This is, uh, you know, I, I really wish young people draw inspiration from senior citizens and also come up, come out in big numbers and vote in the polling booths. We are very confident of a massive victory in Bengaluru and in Bengaluru South. The kind of work the Prime Minister has done for the whole of the country the last 10 years and especially for Bengaluru in the last five years, has been phenomenal. We have stood with the people at every crisis, and people are coming out in big numbers with a lot of gratitude and with a lot of aspiration for a brighter tomorrow. And uh, uh, what about the allegations made by opposition uh, against BJP and uh, Prime Minister Modi? Sir, Congress party has today become absolutely frustrated. Survey after survey is reporting that the Congress may not cross 30 seats on its own across the country. It is only natural that the Congress is so frustrated, so desperate, that they are making these kind of allegations. But the more personal attacks they make on the Prime Minister, the more personal allegations, baseless allegations they make on the Prime Minister, History has shown that the Prime Minister has only gotten stronger. The BJP has only gotten more popular. So let the attacks keep coming. The blessings of the people is seen today in the long queues in the polling booths. One last question. Malikarjun Kharge takes time from PM Modi to explain Congress Nyaya Patra. Well, you know, the Congress is trying every kind of gimmick possible to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, make a last effort to go to people. But the fact that Malikarjun Kharge seeks to meet the Prime Minister to explain the Congress Party's manifesto indicates that maybe perhaps even the Congress realizes that it will be the PM who will have to implement some good ideas that may be present in the Congress manifesto. So if at all there is one person who is coming to power and who will implement anything, it will be the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Perhaps this is an admission of the Congress that they are not going to come anywhere near power for the next two decades.